This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller, and we are happy you could join us. You know what? We started with a field of 16 high schools. That field is narrowing. Both teams that you're going to see play in this first game won their first rounds, and they are going to do battle here tonight. You're going to see Bath take on Finley, and a little bit later, Bluffton will face off against Shawnee. All right, we want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Bath High School, we have Derek Inskeep, Natalie Crow, Tanner Della Cerda, and Jemin Gandhi. Bath is coached by Dan Grimm. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Finley High School, we have Marshall Bott, Craig Corbin, Wesley Hansen and Nora Conrad. Finley is coached by Katherine Gaskell. All right, welcome to all of you. You guys know the routine pretty much, right? Um, we just wanna make sure that when you buzz in, that you speak up as loudly as possible and make those answers as complete as possible, okay? All right, here we go. We have 10 questions in this first round. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Everybody set? Okay, here we go. What is the capital of Iowa? Yes, Bath. Des Moines. Des Moines is the answer. Who was the fifth president of the United States? Yes, Finley. James Madison. That is incorrect. So Bath, you've got a chance for this one. Yes. John Quincy Adams. That is also incorrect. The answer is James Monroe. All right, question number three. What is the state flower for Ohio? Yes, Finley. Carnation. Carnation is correct. Who was the author of Pride and Prejudice? Bath. Jane Austen. Jane Austen is correct. Moving on to question number five. Which New England state is located between New York and Rhode Island? Yes, that would be Bath. Connecticut? Connecticut is correct. Which famous Washington, D.C. resident celebrated its 200th, yes, Bath? The White House. White House is correct. Moving on, question number seven now. Name the U.S. state whose forests on the Olympic Peninsula are among the rainiest, yes, that would be Bath. Oregon? Oregon is incorrect. Finley, would you like me to complete the question? Name the U.S. state whose forests on the Olympic Peninsula are among the rainiest areas of the earth. Yes. Washington. Washington is the answer there. All right. We have three questions remaining in this first round. Name the baseball field that is home to the Chicago Cubs. Yes, that would be Finley. Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field is the answer. On the periodic table, which element has an atomic symbol of CU? Yes, Finley. Copper. Copper is correct. And our final question in our first round. In a Dr. Seuss book, who tries to steal Christmas? Yes, Bath. The Grinch. The Grinch is the answer. All right, good first round there. Here is our score. Bath, you have 50 points. Finley with 40. It's a tight one. We'll be back for the final two rounds right after the break. Stay with us. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, I'm glad you're joining us because we have a really good game going right now between Finley and Bath High Schools. Here's our score. Finley, you have 40 points. 
Bath, you have 50. That means, Bath, you're going to lead the second round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please still ring in with your buzzers. All right, question number one. Name the sea between Australia and New Zealand. Yes. The Adriatic Sea? That is incorrect. It is the Tasman Sea. Which hero from Krypton is also known as, yes. Superman. Superman is correct. Name the only cabinet title not including the word secretary. Yes. The Attorney General. Attorney General is the right answer there. All right, question number four in the second round. Which term derived from the Greek for non and deity designates a denial of the existence of God? Yes. Atheism. Atheism is the answer. And here's your final question in the second round. What is the term for a natural hot spring that periodically, yes. Geyser. Geyser is correct. All right, good job. Turning now to Finley for your five questions. Everybody set over here? Okay, once again, please ring in with your buzzer. Name the liquid produced by flowers to attract insects. Yes. Pollen. Pollen is incorrect. It's nectar. All right. Name the U.S. government department designated by the cabinet abbreviation USDA. Yes. United States Department of Agriculture. That is correct. All right, three questions remaining in this round. Name the unit equivalent to one 360th of a revolution and used to measure angles. Yes. A degree. Degree is correct. Give the full and complete name of this U.S. agency based in Atlanta. Centers for, yes, Finley. Disease control. Expand your answer. Centers for disease control. That is incorrect. The answer is centers for disease control and prevention. All right, here's the final question in the second round. What does DC stand for in electrical terminology? Yes. Direct current. Direct current is the answer. All right, well done. Okay, still a close one. Finley, you have 55 points now. Bath with 70. We're moving into our final round. Again, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Everybody set? All right, here we go. Which Shakespearean character says, there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so? All right, that would be Bath. Hamlet. Hamlet is correct. Question two, in which city and country is the Louvre located? Yes, that would be Finley. Paris, France. Paris, France is correct. What is the United States largest crop? Yes, that would be Finley. Wheat. Wheat is incorrect. Beth, you can try it. Corn. Corn is the right answer there. Question number four. Who was released from a South African prison? Yes, that would be Beth. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela is the answer. All right, question number five. What is the biggest island in the world? Yes, Finley. Greenland. Greenland is correct. All right, teams, here's a score. We're moving into our final five questions. Finley, you have 75 points, and Beth, you have 100. All right. Name one of the two Confederate states without a sea coast. Yes, Beth. Missouri. Missouri is incorrect. Finley, you've got a chance with that question. 
Yes. Kentucky? That is also incorrect. The answer is Tennessee or Arkansas. All right, question seven. Identify the American author of Little Women. Yes, Bath. Louisa May Alcott. You are correct, Louisa May Alcott. All right, number eight. What type of instruments are the tuba and the French horn? Bath. Brass. Brass. We will accept that. Brass instruments is the answer. Two questions now to finish out round three. If a new dress was priced at $100 and sold for $66, what was the percent of discount? Yes, Bath. 34%. 34% is the answer. And here's your final question. Which empire of ancient times stretched from Britain in the north that would be Bath? Roman. The Roman Empire is correct. All right, you can put those buzzers down now. We have a final score. And it is Finley with 75 points. Bath, you're moving on. Congratulations with 140 points. Both teams well played. Very want to thank you very much for joining us this year. All right, we will be back with our next game right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we know that Bath High School will be moving on to the semifinals. Who will they take on in their next game? We'll find out here after three more rounds. We have Bluffton now facing off against Shawnee. Let's introduce you to our players in this game. Bluffton is represented by Patrick Estelle, Anna Neufeld-Weaver, Julia Smallcomb, and Duncan Augsburger. Bluffton is coached by Bridget Hoff. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Shawnee. Shawnee's players are Reed Malcolm, Ryan Zhang, Colton Drexler, and Landon Schumacher. Shawnee is coached by John Young. Okay, you guys, we have 10 questions in this first round. We're 10 points apiece, as you all know. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. And again, I can't stress enough, just make sure you speak up with your answers, okay? So we don't have to refer to our judge for any questions during your game. All right, here we go. Question number one in this first round. In which year was George Washington inaugurated as the first? Yes, that would be Shawnee. 1788. That is incorrect. Bluffton, you want to try? 1782. Also incorrect, it's 1789. All right, question two. Identify the tallest structure in Washington, D.C. Yes, Shawnee. The Washington Monument. Washington Monument is the correct answer. All right, question number three in this first round. Which part of the eye is a multi-layered, light-sensitive membrane that is connected to the brain by the optic nerve? Yes, Shawnee. Cornea. Cornea is incorrect. Bluffton, you want to try it? Yes. The iris. Iris is also incorrect. The answer is retina. All right. Number four. Name one of the three states that have the buffalo for their state animal. Yes, that would be Shawnee. Wyoming. Wyoming is correct. You could have also said Oklahoma or Kansas. All right. Question five. Which is the most abundant atmospheric gas? Yes, Shawnee. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is the answer. Who said in 1932, I pledge you, I pledge myself to a new deal for the American people? Shawnee. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt is correct. All right, where would you find the Sea of Tranquility? 
Yes, Bluffton. Washington, D.C. That is incorrect, Shawnee. You can try this one. The moon. The moon is the answer we're looking for. All right, number eight. How many chambers do frog and amphibian hearts? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Three. Three is the answer. Which American author was born Samuel Langhorne Clemens? Shawnee. Mark Twain. Mark Twain is correct, and you have one question remaining in this first round. Which American ornithologist published the first volume of his The Birds of America in 1827? Shawnee. Charles Darwin. That is incorrect. Bluffton, you can try it. Lewis. That is also incorrect. The answer is John James Audubon. Oh. All right, moving on now to round two. And here is our score. Shawnee, you have 70 points. Bluffton, you're not on the board yet. You have zero points. Shawnee, you're going to lead the second round. And you will have five questions worth five points apiece. Still, you know, ring in with your buzzer, okay? Question one, name three of the four states bordering Oregon. Yes. Washington, California, Idaho. That is correct, and Nevada. All right, number two. According to the Bible, which body of wild water parted to enable the Israelites? Yes, Shawnee. The Red Sea. Red Sea is the answer. Name the gelatinous structures that separate the 24 vertebrae in the back and keep them from grinding together. Yes, Shawnee? Cartilage. Cartilage is incorrect. It's discs that we're looking for. All right, question number four in the second round. What is the capital of Spain? Yes. Madrid. Madrid is correct. Final question in round two. Which 15th century German invented movable type printing press? Yes. Gunther. That is, in, that is incorrect. The answer is Johann Gutenberg. All right. Bluffton, your turn now. Get those buzzers ready. They're all yours, though, so you have um, five questions worth five points apiece. Name the network of museums that has its slogan, believe it or not. Yes. Ripley's. Ripley's is correct. Name the civil rights leader of the 1950s who defended the use of nonviolent civil disobedience in his letter from Birmingham jail. Yes. Martin Luther King Jr. That is correct. All right. In which New England state is the U.S. Coast Guard Academy located? Yes. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is incorrect. It's Connecticut. Okay. okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. Name the membrane that lines the inside of the rib cage that prevents friction between the lungs and the ribs. Yes. Saros? That is incorrect. The answer is pura. All right, final question here for you. Give the pen name of the American author Theodore Seuss Geisel. Yes. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is correct. All right, you're on the board. We are going to take a break. Here's our score right now. Bluffton, you have 15 points. Shawnee with 85. We'll be back with our final 10 questions right after the break. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal.
moving into our final round of questions now. We have 10 to end with here. Again, all worth 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. Here is our score. Bluffton, you have 15 points. Shawnee, 85. Everybody set? Number one, what color jersey is worn by the winner of each stage of the Tour de France? Yes, that'd be Shawnee. Yellow. Yellow is the correct answer. Complete the following principle. Every action has a, yes, that would be Bluffton. Equal and opposite reaction. That is the correct answer. Very good. Equal and opposite. Number three, name the famed horse racetrack in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, Shawnee. The Kentucky Derby. That is incorrect. Bluffton, you can try this one. All right, you were close over here. It's Churchill Downs oh. where the Kentucky Derby is run. All right, question number four. How many valves does a trumpet have? Yes, Bluffton. Three. Three is the answer. In which state was Glacier National Park created by Congress in 19... Yes, Bluffton. Alaska. Alaska is incorrect. Shawnee, do you want me to complete the question? Yes, please. In which state was Glacier National Park created by Congress in 1910? Yes. Montana. Montana is the answer. Which word beginning with the letter A designates a fleet of warships? Yes, Shawnee. Armada. Armada is correct. All right, you have four questions remaining in your game. What is sushi traditionally wrapped in? Yes, Bluffton. Seaweed. Seaweed is correct. Who was inaugurated as the 45th president? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the answer. Okay, teams, we have two questions remaining. Which, it, which is the top color in a rainbow? Yes, Shawnee. Red. Red is correct. And your final question in your game. Name three of the four aspects of life represented by the H's in 4-H club. I hope we don't have any 4-H'ers here, okay? <laughs> the answer is health, heart, hands, and head. All right, everybody take a long exhale now. The game is over, and here is our final score. Bluffton, 45 points. Shawnee, you are the winner, moving on to our semifinals with 135. Congratulations. And Bluffton, thank you for joining us this season. We want to thank you at home for watching. We'll see you here back here next week. Until then, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.